We looked previously at how we can automatically map payments to entries using the rules that we have specified. However, there are times where we may not find a match or need to review automatically mapped payments. Like for example, if our match confidence is low or not there at all. When this is the case, we can go to the line we're having an issue with, like our top line that we have here, for example, and we can go to manual application and apply manually. And that opens the payment application window. This allows us to review, unapply, and reapply the payment manually. On this page, we can simply untick the apply field to unapply the entry, and we can apply this payment wherever we would like it to go. When we unapply the entry, if I go back to the journal, we can see the match confidence now shows none, as the payment has a total outstanding difference. If I apply this manually to an entry, we'll go back to the apply manually page and we'll pick the same entry as it is correct and then close the page. We can see the match confidence uh, field has now been updated to manual to let us know that we've specified an application, but we've not yet fully applied it. To accept it, we can reopen the window just once more and under actions, review, we have accept application, and we can now see that the match confidence is set to accepted. If we have journal lines that are unapplied or don't match a specific invoice, like routine payments of bank fees, for example, we can make use of the map text to account function, which is found just under menu application. Using this, we can map a line of text with a specific account, meaning that when we raise these payments in the journal, Business Central will take a line of text, like for example, bank charges, and map it to a specific credit, debit, or balancing account that we specify. It's important to note that these lines are not automatically applied to open entries, but are posted directly to the accounts we've specified in addition to creating the bank account ledger entries. And to see how that looks, we'll use uh, this line here. We'll, the transaction text is 103001 relating to an invoice, but for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'll just use map text to account. And you can see that it's getting ready to specify uh, what we will map this particular text to. So if we did have a text of uh, bank charges, for example, we could then specify a debit, a credit, or a balancing account number and continue on with what we're trying to do.